So going over now to Mike and Roger. Yeah, you know it, Mel. Thanks very much, Michael. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, Roger. How are you? I, I, can, I can't complain. Interesting night last night, sure which was. makes for an interesting morning. Uh, energy sector, we're going to yeah. see people there not too happy. Western alienation, it's mm -hmm. an interesting map, isn't it? The political map right now. Yeah, it sure is. Um, and the term Wexit. Oh, no. really trending on Twitter this morning. Um, Alberta and Saskatchewan uh, looking at, you know, for representation in Ottawa as uh, they went to conservative, uh, liberals in power uh, with uh, likely support from the NDP, questions about the energy industry, uh, pipeline politics, all of that is going to filter through to this. Uh, you know, the rest of Canada looking at, uh, it, it, it's the dichotomy. In Toronto right now, we're looking for affordability in the housing market. And, you know, getting prices down, perhaps, in Alberta, for example, in Calgary, they've got a 30% plus vacancy rate wow. in the office towers. So, again, you've got, you know, a very diverse economy that uh, needs some balancing. And we, and we look for immediate, oh, what does this all mean? Well, we've got to see a budget. And, yep. you know, let's see what they actually propose, what kind of support uh, they'll get uh, in the minority government situation. The opposition parties, they'll, they'll talk a big game, but they won't necessarily push for everything immediately, you know, for fear of triggering another election in, in short order. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be a, certainly a balancing act, and that uh, is both the political spectrum and from a nationwide standpoint. And that's what makes it interesting because you have to appeal, like, you can't forget about the West, right? And no, the energy not. is where it's at for them, and so you've yeah. got to find a happy, and, happy medium. And it's, you know what? It's that's all one country. All, that's always been the case, regardless of economic policy. I mean, you see that in the Bank of Canada. You know, in one case, they want to raise interest rates because certain areas of the country are doing really well, others may be, may be struggling. So, I mean, that is the constant balance that is Canada uh, from coast to coast to coast. So, I mean, it, it's going to be interesting. The, the dollar is not doing anything, by the way. Uh, the results were not a big surprise, yeah. per se. Yeah, very predictable, uh, and, actually. And, and again, it's going to take time to figure everything out and how it's going to affect uh, uh, economic policy, and we might have to wait until early next year for a federal budget. All right, we'll see what happens. Michael, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. We've got more.